guys, so it is the morning of day four, and we've got maybe just under seven miles left to go. So hopefully we'll get down to the truck in short order, get some uh, less gross clothes on, and then get out of here. But uh, yeah, it was a wet night out at the Mount Sterling. Uh, not because it rained, just condensation everywhere. That'll be fun to uh, dry out later, but not right now. But we're gonna get uh, heading down. Hopefully be a fast six plus miles and uh, that'll be that. Took some footage of the sunrise from the top of the uh, fire tower on Mount Sterling, so hopefully that was cool. But we are on Baxter Creek Trail. That'll take us down back toward Big Creek, uh, but we will have to walk on the road a little bit once we get down there. Like I said, it is all downhill today, so assuming that our quads and our knees hold out, we should be able to get there in short order. One of the less than ideal things about the uh, backcountry site 38 is the water source. Apparently the closest water source is 0.4 miles away. Uh, mostly downhill, which doesn't sound bad until you need to turn around and go back up to your back up to your campsite and then you've put on just about another mile just to get your water. So it is certainly worth filling up beforehand if you're in such a uh, such a predicament. Uh, and there's other places along the way. There's a couple of uh, streams or seeps at least where there's a good place to collect water. Um, at least that's coming uh, down from uh, Tri-Corner. Can't speak to coming up Balsam Creek, but I would imagine. Well, I guess if you're coming up Balsam Creek, it's not that much of a hassle because you're practically there anyway. It's just a little 700 foot uh, in and, well, I guess technically 1,400 feet in and back from uh, the water source, but uh, something to bear in mind if anyone is out here needing water. this morning. I will say, even after just a few minutes on the trail, the uh, cool air and the rising sunshine, beautiful combination to hike through. Not really too much to say about the uh, Baxter Creek Trail so far. Uh, it's been downhill in this direction. Punishingly so, my knees are already hot garbage. Still have quite a few miles to go. I honestly don't remember exactly how many. I mean, it's not terrible. You got rhododendrons mostly on either side, a couple of open spots, but well, open forest. You can't see any views into the valleys or anything. But uh, yeah, it's just been uh, of a hard walk downhill, hard on the knees anyway. And it seems like that's what it's gonna be for the next few miles. Welcome little surprise. Got to stop and enjoy a waterfall for a few minutes. Just a little bit of a trickle, but enough to hear the, the sound and appreciate the, the scenery. And all the all the stones covered with moss, just shaded by the the growth overhead. A beautiful, picturesque little spot. And I just passed a couple of other hikers who are headed up. Uh, they said that uh, it's not too much farther to the parking area and that is 
that is good news <laughs> for me today. So, uh, hopefully that puts a little bit of a extra spring in my step, because I will tell you, my feet are on fire. But, you know, they're still there and they still work, so I am thankful for that. All right, hopefully we are closing in on the, on the, the finale. You know, as I say that, let me see if I can turn the camera around. I'm walking past this part of the trail. You can actually get a uh, somewhat respectable view of some of the uh, other parts of the ridge. Uh, maybe out here, I don't know if it's picking up or not. You can see some ridges across the valley. Not entirely sure what we're looking at. I can figure it out, I'll put a little note in here. We're at another spot on the uh, Baxter Creek Trail, and uh, behind me, hopefully you can see, not sure, entirely sure if it has a name. It's just a really neat exposed rock feature. I'm not sure how far it goes or how far back it goes, but it uh, reminds me a little bit of uh, Raven Rock down in uh, Lillington, uh, North Carolina. Anyway, <laughs> we're that much closer. We're gonna keep going. I don't know if uh, microphone is picking it up from uh, up here, but we are just about to cross over Big Creek. Uh, and I'm looking down into it, and I, I don't think uh, the camera would pick much up through the trees, so hopefully we'll get down there and you can see a little bit more. Just up to the footbridge that leads over Big Creek. Turn the camera around. Baxter Creek Trail, Mount Sterling 6.2. That's what uh, we've come down from today. We do need to hike back to our vehicle. Uh, that is the Tri-Corner Knob Loop. All 34 plus miles of it. I think we did it over that, but some of that was just uh, uh, getting water and, and the like. But um, long, long trail. Like I said before, my feet are on fire. So anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.